the New York Knicks went down to the nation's capital. All-star break over. The road to 4-5 has begun with 22 games left. And it was a little tough one at the gate. You know, this one was an offensive battle early. Our old friend Kristaps Porzingis gets it popping early. And the Knicks find themselves down by as much as 19 points. But Julius Randle, ladies and gentlemen, was ready to go from the opening tip. And when Kyle Kuzma called him out, Julius Randle went into demon time and put the team on his back. In the fourth quarter, Knicks were clinging to a, a one-point lead. And with a little help from RJ and the second unit, and then Julius and Jalen closing, the Knicks were able to pull off a 115 to 109 win and get it popping, man. 34 and 27 on the road, to, on, on the campaign, 18 and 12 on the road. And uh, Knicks get several, several wins tonight, not just in this game. Forty six points for Julius Randle in the nick of time. He was absolutely brilliant tonight. Absolutely brilliant tonight. All three levels. The Wizards had absolutely no answer for him. Um, as I said, just in the nick of time, because Brunson didn't have it tonight. You know, Brunson was still on vacation mode. He's he's gotta knock the cobwebs off. That's okay. He he's due for an off night. So Julius had to take matters into his own hands, and he did. You know, there were several points in this game. There were almost like 20-something lead changes. You know, there were several points in this game where the Rizzards would make their run, and then Julius would just do what he needed to do, whether it was get a key rebound, get a key assist, or get key buckets to put this thing away. And usually in crunch time, you're like, okay, let's, let's go to Brunson. Everybody else get out the way. But this was... Julius' show to close, and he did it, man. And he did it. Knicks were down by one in crunch time. 4.52 to go. Julius hits a three-pointer. Comes back after Bradley Beal sings two free throws. Knicks are tied. Game is tied. Julius hits another three-pointer to put the Knicks up by three. Then he had a, a, a quickly floater to put the Knicks up by five. Porzingis hits two free throws. Two more free throws to pull... The Wizards within one. Randall makes two more free throws. And then Brunson gets a key finger roll with 42 seconds left to help put this thing away, man. This is, the, it's meant to be this way. <laughs> and, and the Knicks, the Knicks are meant to give us these types of, of games. Yeah. They're exciting. Uh, but, you know, when, when you're the Knicks, they're definitely stressful. And this is a this turns out to be a, a huge victory, CP, because you know every game has its own story depending on how the game starts to how it ends. And because of the way that the game started, off the layoff, uh, it I believe it was eight days off that that the team had. And early on, it looked like the Knicks, you know, were still in in All Star break. Is the rhythm comes off sometimes when you have you know so many days off, and so uh, it turns out to be a huge victory. Because CP, I know it's the second half, and I was saying this in the play-by-play, -play, this is quote-unquote the second half. But it's not really the second half. The Knicks only have, like, what, 21 more games left? So this is, like, the last third. And beginning tonight, I'm scoreboard watching. I'm scoreboard watching. I'm looking at the standings. I'm looking at some of these games tonight. But you it know, all the counts. Nets are getting it all smoked. matters. He are getting smoked. Uh, I believe by now, I think the Cavs have already lost. So... These games matter. You look at some of the games last night that were tight games. You look at the way the games are tonight. Intensity is going to start to pick up. And it looked like the Knicks were not ready. And then they turned it around. Yeah. And I don't know what's what's the moment for you for the game. But to me, it looked like one of the moments of the game was when Kyle Kuzma called Julius Randle too little. Oh, man. He went ballistic on him. <laughs> went ballistic on Kuzma after that. <laughs> and Kuzma turned around and looked at him. You know, in the post game, Julius Randle said he did not see it, but he said his phone blew up. He said as soon as he looked at his text, that's all everybody was talking about. <laughs> so, you know, 
that was a big moment of the game because man, I, that was Kobe esque in yeah. terms of you know the prime stars in the league. We hear about that all the time about that those mystique moments where an opponent kind of motivates you, you know, it wakes you up. And it looks like Julius Randle has joined that club of players that respond uh, when the opponent challenges you. So. It's a big moment for him too, CP. Again, this is an important half. And, you know, tonight was one of those rare nights where we needed him to carry the team. That's right. We needed him to be the leader. We needed his ISO game to be on point. You know, he's going up against a 7-3 guy who blocked the shot a few times. It was not an easy matchup because he had to defend tonight. Yeah. And <laughs> KP had a strong start to the game. So give Julius a ton of credit tonight. Big time. And maybe, CP, this type of game he can't do in an 82-game season. But remember what I, what, what I said. He doesn't have to do that anymore. Yeah, not every because night. Because a, a night like tonight, Brunts is not going to have every night. All right. So after tonight, we got 34 wins, Correct. Correct. And we got 21 win, 21 games to go. That, <laughs> correct. It is 21 wins, but we got 21 games to go. Yes. Now, does it seem impossible for you guys for us to go 16 and 5? Oh. Doesn't seem impossible to me. Um, I mean, yeah, he's jumping and, out the window. Yeah, he jumped all the way. Throw, throw not, some window not, emojis not, in the not, chat. Not, not, listen, my guy Kane is out of not even open. I'm thinking this is absolutely possible. My window's not even open. I think you need to go <laughs> to storage and get the grill out, JD. Because <laughs> he said, get the, get, the apron, away. get the mittens. <laughs> Let's go. We're 16 wins away from that 50 burger, and I think we can do it. Okay. The way this game is, the way this team's been playing, 16 and 5 does not seem unrealistic to me. What, what do you guys think in the chat, man? Does Kane, Marco have a point? Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at the schedule. You like wins <laughs> like this because people jump out the window, man. It's Friday night. CP. Kane is <laughs> talking right, spicy. Man, all... CP, Yo. listen, don't think anything, right? Yeah. I'm just going to ask you questions. Don't think anything. Just You just say win or loss. Yeah. Tomorrow against the Pelicans. Win. Uh, home against the Celtics. Win. Home against the Nets. Win. At Miami. Win. At Boston on ESPN. Loss. Home against the Hornets. Win. At Sacramento. See, this is where it gets tricky, this this West Coast swing. Um, that's going to be the biggest part. I, I'll go loss. I sack down. I'll go loss. At Clippers, 4 o'clock on a Saturday. Loss. At Los Angeles, Sunday night, 9 p.m. ESPN. Win. At Portland. Win. No, home against the Nuggets. Loss. Home against the Timberwolves. Win. At Miami. <clears throat> Loss. At Orlando. Win. Home against Houston. Win. Trash. I was already writing it before I said it. Pray for Home victory. against Miami. Uh, win. At Cleveland. Big game. Win. Big game. Big game. That That's when we get the fourth seed. That's a win right there. <laughs> uh, home against Washington. Last game against the Wizards. I'll go win. By that time, they'll have nothing to play for. That the, the tank will be in full, full speed. Three games left. At yeah. Indiana. Uh, win. Home at, at New Orleans. Zion's back. I put a loss just because second to last game too many, of the season. I put a loss. It's too many it, wins, man. It's too. That's too good. Sunday matinee against the Indiana Pacers. Win. You just gave the team forty nine wins, fifteen and uh, six. And Kane, Kane said what? He says sixteen. Wait, he says sixteen, 16 and five. He says sixteen yeah. and five. I yeah. said fifteen and six. Yeah. I, I, Natty Solo says I'm on, I'm on the ledge. I so, guess I so, am on the so, ledge. So, so I think we answered his question. We didn't get the exact record, but his question was: He doesn't think it's all that unrealistic, based on your predictions or your immediate reactions to the schedule. It's not unrealistic. 
I'm feeling a little frog. I'm feeling a little froggy, man. Let's see how this West Coast trip goes. Oh, uh, here you go. Let me here see how this West, West Coast <laughs> trip goes. Look, you got you got back to back Lakers Clippers, Sack Town, Portland. The cam the Cam Revenge game is gonna be something to watch. Portland's always a tough. It's always a tough place to play. Also, I'm mm-hmm. on the, I'm on the ledge. <laughs> Big time win for the squad tonight. I know the legs looked a little bit wobbly, but that's what happens when you get on a break. When you're used to playing at least seven games, you know what I'm saying, in, four, in, in 10, 12 days, your legs get wobbly when you ain't back on them. But guess what? We back to handling our business. All them 60 games in the beginning, that's over with. The trade deadline, that's over with. All-star break, that's over with. 22 games left. Hold up. Now we won and zero. You know what I'm saying? We undefeated in the second half. We about to put that pressure on a whole lot of people. You know what I'm saying? They said you ain't nice until you do it twice. In fact, I'm going to come back from the All-Star and be back here from Utah. And first game, I'm going to put up 40-plus. That's right. And Randall, we trust. That's a quick, slick line on a bar straight off the top of the dome. He handling his business, doing what we got to do. And brushing one ready to go. And we, we see some L's are coming to get some T's, you know what I'm saying? That's in front of Cleveland took an L tonight. Miami mm-hmm. took another L tonight, you know what I'm saying? I want that fourth spot. I want to be I want to be celebrating rocking that first game at home. I want the first game of the playoffs in Madison Square Garden against, I don't care who it is we hosting against, you know what I'm saying? Cleveland, we we'll knock you off. We didn't get down and you got them, we we'll knock you off with that. Miami, we no problem with you. Remember, we just dusted y'all off and we ain't have Brunson and we ain't have Mitch. But Mitch is back. I saw Mitch in the tunnel and down in Atlanta. I dabbed him up. I said, yo, monster, what's up with you? When you coming back? I don't want to hear from nobody. I want to hear from you. He told me 24. I said, guess what? That's a good number because February 24th was the day my mom was born. She mm. born the day on this day and she resting in heaven. This is my first birthday with my without my mom since she's been gone. So it was a special day for me tonight. You know what I'm saying? I like when the squad handling their business and do what they gotta do. We own one. And if you ain't tuned in and appreciate what the Knicks is doing all season is wrong, something is wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? Something is really wrong with you because this is special what we're doing. All at the beginning, I don't like the schedule. It's too tough. We can't beat this team. We can't beat that. So what? Every time we put the pressure on the squad, they come back and handle our business and put the pressure back on so you can't do nothing but respect what everybody's doing all the way down from the line, all the way from James Dolan, all the way to Leon Rose, all the way to Scott Perry, all the way to World Wide West, all the way to the coaching staff, Tom doing what he's doing. Let's go. Jay Boogie with a fire closing sermon. Throw some fives in the chat. Everybody throw a five in the chat right now for Jay Boogie laying down the boss incredible absolutely incredible man and that's it man see you guys tomorrow night great win 115 109 Knicks get a great win man see you guys tomorrow peace